In this video, my friend Kat and I are going to answer some of your questions about dating Chinese guys. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. In this video, I have with me my beautiful friend Catherine. Hi everyone. Can you introduce yourself? Sure, I'm from Switzerland. I'm 25 years old and I live here in Beijing together with my Chinese boyfriend. Yes, so I invited her to be in this video because I want to do more videos about AMWF relationships. What is that again? Asian male, Western female. Yes, so you see Catherine is from Switzerland and her boyfriend is from China, so AMWF relationships. So I really want you guys to send me some emails with some questions if you have thought about anything related to AMWF relationships. I really hope that you guys will send me an email or two with your questions and then me and Catherine will try to answer as, as good as we can and also share a little bit about our experience dating Asian guys. Exactly. So if you have yes. any questions for us, please just ask us and we will do our best to help you. Yeah, we have the email address is in the description box below. It's just info at lenaaround.com. Very simple. And you'll be anonymous, so don't worry about that either. Anyway, so let's get started on today's video. Cool. So what is today's question? <laughs> So because this is the first video, I haven't shared anything about these kind of videos yet. So me and Kat, we were looking through a group on WeChat that's called WWAM Relationships, I think. What is that again? That was the white woman, Asian man? Yeah, something like yeah. that. Yeah, so that's kind of like the new tag for AMWF. We're a little slow, mm -hmm. so I still use Bam. AMWF. Yes, so, mm -hmm. so the BAM group and either a lot of girls, well, all of the girls are either dating or married to Chinese or Asian guys yes so we were looking through there and Kat she saw a very interesting question that, mm. question that we are going to talk about today the question is am I the only one who gets the feeling that your husband is only with you for permanent residence so this question was asked by a girl from Australia right yep yeah yeah so so mm. she married a Chinese guy and then I guess they went to Australia yeah, they have been living in China for over 10 years wow. I think and a long time. then they moved to Australia. So she was a little worried about this and I hadn't seen this question before just now and I think it's a really interesting question and immediately when we found a question we started discussing it, right? Yeah, it's kind so. of a tricky question and kind of sensitive as well. It's I think. very yeah. tricky, it's very sensitive because you're supposed to fall in love and get together and live happily ever after. But on the other hand, we also know that of course some people are marrying for different reasons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we talked a little bit about it and one thing we discussed was that it very much depends on where the guy is from in China. A lot of these girls in this group a lot of them are married to city guys but some are also married to guys from like very poor areas villages and stuff so i'm not saying that because they're from a village they're gonna hunt you down to get the the what's it called pre permanent residence i'm just saying that they might have thought about it mm -hmm. but then we also talked about your boyfriend's situation yeah and how was that so my boyfriend and i we met in france five years ago uh, where he has studied and worked and then just yeah half a year ago we came to china and for my boyfriend in, in the long term he always prefers to go back to Europe and live mm. over there yeah but <laughs> his ego won't allow him to use me as a, a ticket to go back to Europe so he wants to so funny. yeah have his own efforts and find a job there uh, eventually if he decide to go back there yeah you know I kind of understand that for some Chinese men if, if they're together with a Western woman mm. it's a plus it's like a bonus it's that, a bonus. Yeah, that they sure. maybe have eventually the occasion to go live abroad, live yeah. somewhere else. And this isn't necessarily a, ba necessarily a bad thing, no. I think. But I think it's okay, yeah. If it becomes the primary reason, like the only yeah. reason they're dating you, and 
Yeah, yeah then that's it's not, not good. good. <laughs> no. Yeah. So I also, I thought about it after we read the question. I was thinking back, like, my experience dating Asian guys or Chinese guys. And I think most of the guys I've been dating, they were not really curious about Denmark at all, actually. Like, mm -hmm. they, a lot of Chinese people, they know that Denmark is a welfare state. It's a very nice place to stay. Like, it's calm and cozy and whatnot. But I have only met one guy who was actually really interested in going back. And... I am 100% sure that that was not the main reason for seeing me because he was just he was very much in love with me. It's sad it didn't work out, but we met in Denmark. So obviously he was also interested in Denmark, like it makes sense. But the guys I've met here, I think we talked about this as well before. I think the guys I'm meeting, they're usually more well off. So they've not never thought about going to Denmark per se. Like they would probably choose places like Canada, America. Like for many Chinese people, Canada and America is like the places to go. Mm. And Denmark is not really on their radar unless they meet me and like fall in love with the country because I bring them there. But I, I can definitely see why this could be a problem between two people, you know. Another thing that could happen could be there is a, a girl and it never really worked out for her at home. Maybe she's American and then she was at home for a long time and she never had any boyfriend, she never got any attention. She comes here to China and then she meets a very nice guy and he, you know, she's very happy to have someone who loves her. She thinks he loves, she loves, he loves her, but there might be other reasons. So I'm just, I'm just trying to picture, you know, like different scenarios. I'm not saying it, it, it will happen or it did happen, but I just, I have a feeling that could be another issue. You know, she's just like blindly in love and he's like, let's go back to America. And she's like, of course, you know, and then he did that because he wanted to get out of China. Mm. So yeah. my advice for you would be if you're a Western girl, Western mm. woman, and you meet a Chinese guy, just listen to your feelings yeah. and try to ask some critical questions and also be, try yeah. to be aware of his family be situation. Aware. Sure. Um, if there's you know some intention or pressure from his family mm. to go live abroad yeah. you know just yeah. try to find it out and if you get a bad feeling about this or about being used for this reason um you need yeah. to leave you need just, to leave yes stay away <laughs> from him <laughs> but I, I gotta say I, I was just thinking also that i have a feeling in china you know most of the children and uh, most of the the young guys at our age they're single children right so I feel like their responsibility is in China and very often they won't leave their family because mm. they have to take care of their parents so I don't think you that often will bump into guys who are like let's go back to Denmark immediately after falling in love I don't know I've just seen I've seen many girls move abroad with with foreign guys mm. but mm. I see more foreign girls staying in China because of responsibility for his parents or the love the girls have for the country and the guys are more comfortable in their own place you know like yeah. bringing a Chinese guy back to Denmark would be trouble because of language barrier because of his, if he is uh, if he has a degree in marketing then it's really hard to find any kind of job in Denmark it's already hard to find a job if he's not an engineer so mm. yeah I really think you just have to be critical you know but don't be too suspicious like yeah. don't don't suspect every time every time he's like let's go on a vacation to your country and you're like hey hey, hey what are you mm. trying to do here mister <laughs> no I don't think it's like that I think many <laughs> Chinese guys they actually love their country I think so too yeah. they live in big cities like Beijing Shanghai yeah. they're used to the bus uh, and the opportunities in these uh, big yeah, cities so true sometimes life in Europe uh, and feel a little bit Very like, a, like a yeah, Backwards. quiet, um, small town life. Yeah. So no I wouldn't say it, and yeah, exactly. No quite I wouldn't <laughs> say that all Chinese guys prefer live abroad. Not no, at all. Yeah. I actually think she's very right about that. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, I just try to imagine me bringing a Chinese guy to Denmark. Like I have to take care of everything because I understand what's going on in my country. Like you're mm -hmm. lucky because your boyfriend speaks French, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that would be easier. But going to Denmark as a Chinese guy and then if he's just a little macho or he has ego like her boyfriend, then <laughs> oh my god, I don't think that's ever gonna work out. Yeah, I don't one think thing so. one thing my boyfriend really likes about China is that he can handle 
everything by yeah. himself. He's the man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he knows the language. He can, you know, organize stuff. He doesn't have any problems opening a bank account or mm. things like this that can be really tricky in a foreign language. Yes. In a foreign country, so yeah. yeah. So it has both advantages and disadvantages. For sure, for sure. <laughs> so that was all for this video. I hope that you got a little bit out of it. You know, I hope that you like this kind of video. So please let us know in the comments below. Also, what you would like to see. And as I said, if you do have any problems or any questions about AMWF relationships, <laughs> then please send me an email info at lenaround.com. You can also see the email address in the description box below. I would love to hear from you guys i would also love to hear what you think about this kind of video and thank you very much for joining thanks for having Yay. me that was great fun <laughs> give us a thumbs up we'll see you again very very soon have a nice day evening wherever you are in the world and Ling Ling and cat is out see ya and bye bye, -bye.